Welcome, the War Chief of Light is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's Peepy Keep, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeps. You all know that I'm not the voiceover type person. Today I am feeling like crap, sick as a dog. I am sorry about that. This video is a little bit less theatrical, but I feel it's very important. Stephen Critchlow has passed away. For some, you may not know that name. This is a UK actor, someone who is very strong and done some great roles in the United Kingdom. We know Stephen Critchlow as Count Edmond de Fortin, Edmund of Fortin. The one character in this video game that took us under his wing as, our, as children. He loved us as much as he loved his own. I don't need to tell most Final Fantasy fans that this is a big character. This character has created memories that we will never forget. One which I will put here, and spoiler alert for Heaven's Ward, big spoiler by the way, so skip it, I'll leave a time code. Oh no, I gotta tell his dad. Don't. Please. And his voice acted. Fuck. A knight lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. Oh, he's gonna get me there again. There is no greater calling. Leave me to mourn and give chase. For my son and for the nation he loved. Go! Bye. Let the man warn. Oh, stop! Oh. That moment is what separates the professionals from the amateurs. That voice crack, that weakness, that the honest answer is when this scene took place, I was already in tears from the previous event. And once this scene happened, I was in full-blown tears rolling down my cheeks. Like, it, ugly crying, okay? I was ugly crying. We've helped raise his youngest kid. We've helped transition his child into a leader. And yes, a lot of that writing is Final Fantasy's work. And we appreciate that. But Stephen Critzlow really brought that to the next level. We felt it. Voice actors bring these characters to life. And he did that. More than just successfully. And to no surprise to you guys. But this game keeps surprising me. This game's community decided that they were hosting vigils. Not organized, but in the worlds that I visited, people standing out with campfire lanterns, talking to each other about stories about Edmond, people wearing the Fortin colors, the Fortin knight's armor, the Fortin shield, tons of people with the title House de Fortin, House Fortin Knight. Bards are playing. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's incredible that someone had the power to bring joy, laughter, tears to us like he did. And it's so beautiful to see hundreds of players take the time for tribute and remember that ability, that talent. I'm not really good at these kind of videos, I'm not going to lie. Because I get so much emotion that if I go too long and do it, I almost start crying again. And I do say again because, well, I obviously did when I found out, not going to lie. So, adieu, Edmond de Fortin. Merci pour les si belles moments. J'ai tellement apprécié. Adieu, papa. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, cool. This is more of a, I guess, personal diary on how this event is transpiring. How beautiful the community is. For everyone else who's been here for a while, the video about the live letter will be up on Thursday. But until then, have a legendary day. Thanks again for being here. 
And I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one. Where you guys will actually be able to see me because I won't look sick. Bye. Maybe I'm a little